Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm down at the south end of the park this morning, down in Area 1. Beautiful down here. The ranger's just coming out. Checking things out. There's a bunch of beer cans. Oh, great. Some people. I don't get it. What are you going to do, Deb? What are you going to do? A ranger's work is never done. I like working in a booth better sometimes, but then I'm frustrated. I hear you. <laughs> It is disheartening when you come out here and you see what people do to our beach. They come out here, people, and it's people that have a pass to come in at night and they just destroy the park. It's sad, absolutely sad how people can be such pigs. Ugh. Please, please respect our parks when you come out here. Such a beautiful morning. Quiet. There's actually a few people up the beach fishing. They can fish along this part of the beach until eight o'clock. After 8 a.m. you have to fish up at the end of the beach at Wiggins Pass. Still got some of the beautiful colors out there of sunrise. Some storms out there in the Gulf. I haven't been down at this end of the park for about a week. to see how the water looks down here and it looks absolutely gorgeous out here nice and clean and clear as soon as that sun pops up we'll get a better look Our little snowy egrets here in front of me fishing for its morning breakfast is it gonna catch something yep it got one it got something there whoop down the hatch if he gets another one. Yep, got another one. They are just little eating machines. These little snowy egrets. And it looks like the fishing's good this morning. Nothing that time. Oh, 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 look at all the pelicans flying by out there. Wow. Look at them all. Beautiful. Whoop, our little friend got another one down here. Just one after the other. It's like a bottomless pit. Another little fish. Uh, another one. Holy smokes. Well, I told you there were lots of little bait fish out here. 
there's the proof. This little guy's gorging himself, it looks like. How many fish can they, this little bird eat? Usually when the wave comes in is when they get the fish. The fish come in with the waves. They just kind of ride the waves in and out. There you go, got one. Boy. I love watching the birds, as you can tell. Just amazing. Well, let's move on. I'm sure we're gonna see plenty more birds out here. You can hear them all calling out here. Absolutely gorgeous morning here. Again, we're down at the south end of the park, the south end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples. That's looking south. mile long stretch of beach here. There's still a few turtle nests on the beach that haven't hatched yet or the raccoons haven't gotten into. Those raccoons have been relentless this year on our nests. Pretty much every nest shows signs of raccoons getting into it. You can see the broken eggshells down here. So sad. Nest 57 there. If there's any eggs left in there, they should be hatching in another week or so. Here you can see Darn raccoons just got into this nest. You can see the broken eggshells all around it here. Nest number 44. This one was pretty close to hatching. Darn it. Hopefully there's some little eggs left in there. Beautiful as we look up to the north there. The birds flying by. Water is absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Beautiful. Crystal clear. Crystal clear down there, everyone. You can see a school of little fish jumping around out here. Right out in there. Something chasing them. There's a lone pelican soaring by there in the background. Absolutely gorgeous out here.
a mile, a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. Give or take a few feet, it's always changing. Something big just jumped right over here. Whoop. Something chasing the fish. Something bigger chasing the little fish. And there are just this whole entire beach, up and down the beach, thousands and thousands of little, little tiny bait fish in the water. If the sun was up, it'd be a lot easier to see. You might be able to see them swimming around down there. I, can, I don't know. The water is just loaded with little fingerlings. Loaded. That's why you see all the birds hanging out along the shore now. Especially up in area four there. We'll work our way up to there. Hopefully I'll get up there this morning. I don't see many shells on the beach down here. Seems the good shells are up on the north end of the park now lately. Up in areas four and five. So Roy went and saw the infectious disease specialist yesterday. He had an appointment with the specialist. Good news, everything's going well. His wound is healing. It's a slow process, partially because of his age. But the good news is he's healing and getting better. He's on the mend. Anybody that wants to go visit him, please do, up at Solaris, up by the entrance to Imperial golf course. I think it's called Imperial Golf Course Boulevard. It's up in North Naples, just off of 41 Solaris at Imperial. That's all you have to Google. Google Solaris at Imperial. It seems that everybody's coming in the morning now to visit Roy. It'd be great if some people can come in and visit him in the afternoons. It's a little quiet in the afternoons. Right after lunch is great, you know, around one o'clock-ish. He loves having visitors. All you pretty ladies, he loves getting those hugs. He still likes getting his hugs. And you can go out there and visit him after dinner if you wanna go see him after supper time at 6.30 or so, that's great too. But like I say, afternoons would be great if we could get some people to start popping in in the afternoons. Everybody shows up in the morning and then the afternoons are dead. This place is just gorgeous now. A red tide has moved offshore. I'm sure we're gonna have a quite a few people here this weekend. Last weekend was kind of a bust because we we're still, the red tide was lingering around over the holiday weekend. This is what the park ranger was talking about. They'll be sure we buy to pick all this up, but look at this. What kind of a slob would come out here and do this? Leave these empty bottles out here on the beach. Empty beer bottles. They think they're cool. Just a bunch of lazy, stupid slobs. Beer bottles all along the beach.
What a bunch of pigs. Thankfully, the volunteers will clean this up. People like this don't even deserve to be out in public. What a shame. How they can disrespect our beaches like that. Can you imagine what their homes must look like? Looking for an osprey up here in one of these trees. I don't hear any out here. I haven't heard any ospreys calling out this morning. Absolutely gorgeous though, the blues and the greens out here. Seagulls flying by. I couldn't tell if those were gulls or terns. You know, right over my head. These little snowy egrets. It's a smorgasbord out here for them. There's so many fish. They're just making their way up and down the beach. I swear they're gorging themselves. I don't know how such a little bird can eat so many fish. Whoa. Something just chased, chased all the little fish up onto the beach. Oh, surprised the birds didn't get this one. Let me get this real quick. This, where'd it go? Doggarn it. I was gonna show you one of the little fish, one of these little fingerlings that the birds are eating. I couldn't grab them, darn it. The wave pulled them away before I got a hold of them. But what happens are the bigger fish, we got a lot of snook returning here. And somebody said the snook are spawning now. But what happens is all of a sudden they'll just charge in and just just swim through all these little pinfish, these little fingerling fish, these little they're little tiny things about this big. And as they just charge through them with their mouths open, they make a huge wave and wash the little thing, the little fish up onto the beach. And then the birds move in. Boom. It's quite a sight to see. We've seen it a few times in my beach walks. I'm sure we'll see it see it this morning somewhere along the beach here. I'm having a hard time reading the water right now, figuring out where the schools of big fish are. Okay, I think there's one right out here. You can see all the little fish kind of swirling around. Nope. This water is like glass this morning. This is when I'd love to see a dolphin come swimming by. Right, I, see, I see the water swirling around right up in here. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Do you see those pelicans out there? Two pelicans flying by out there in the distance. I don't know if all the birds are up on that sandbar this morning. I can't quite see up there yet. I see somebody up on the beach. I don't know if it's just a walker, a fisherman, or a sheller. I hope it's not a sheller. <laughs> I don't want them beating me to the good shells. Well, the sun's peeking through the trees at me over there.
Beautiful. Beautiful blue sky, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Get that sun glinting there. Isn't that beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That's what I love about this place. It's all natural. You're not dealing with homes or condos along the beach. Just mother nature, beautiful trees. Lord knows how old these Australian pines are. This beach actually used to be lined with them, but over the years they've gotten knocked down by hurricanes and tropical storms. Comes an early morning runner passing by us. Morning. I should be doing that. So it's funny, yesterday, several people got pictures of me out here on my beach walk. That was pretty funny. I appreciate that. One of them said she had a celebrity sighting. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm no celebrity. Roy's the celebrity. What a difference between the south end of the park and the north end. It's very quiet down at the south end. Seems like there's a lot more activity bird-wise and fish-wise up at the north end. Come on, dolphins, where are you at? I don't know if they're going to be coming from the north or south. I don't know if they already made their run down to the south this morning or are going to be coming up from the south back up to the north or vice versa. Sometimes they hang out in Wiggins Pass in the morning. You just never know where you're going to spot them. I guarantee you, if you hang out here at the park, you're going to see some dolphins. That's a given. Just don't know when or what part of the park. But they usually just swim up and down the beach from Del Nor Wiggins down to Vanderbilt, all the way down to Doctors Pass. Just back and forth. Sometimes in a big pod. Some more pelicans flying by out there. I'm just so excited to see those pelicans. That is such a great sight. When you see pelicans, it means there's fish out there. And there's a look down the beach. I'll see if I can zoom in, yeah. That's Park Shore in the center of the screen. That's the condos of Park Shore. The Ritz is to the north, to the right about in the middle of the screen there, the Ritz-Carlton. You can see La Playa over there on the left of the screen, just kind of behind that tree. That's the La Playa Beach Hotel. Beautiful beaches down there, but again, you've got all those condos. Myself, I prefer this beach right here with just all the trees, all natural. Del Nor Wiggins, past State Park. Big difference in the beaches too, between down there by the condos and here. Here, they don't 
rake the beaches with big machines and tractors. I just, it's all natural. So if you're not into natural, if you like the manicured pristine white sand, don't come here. If you like to get in touch with nature, this is the place you want to be. One of our nests over there, number 53, that should be getting ready to hatch. If there's any, if there's any eggs left in it. Sea turtle nest number 53 right there. That should be getting close if the raccoon spared any of the eggs. These are loggerhead sea turtles, by the way, that we have on our beach here. They start nesting in May. They start coming up on the beach in May. They nest May through August, I think, May through August. And then they'll be hatching all the way up into October. I don't know, I forget if we had 61, 60 or 61 nests here. We broke a record, that's for sure. That's the most nests we've ever had in one season here at Del Nor Wiggins. The rangers are up there cleaning up those beer bottles now. Ugh. That's just heartbreaking to see people leaving that stuff on the beach like that. I mean, I don't care about people coming out and having a good time, but just clean up after yourself. And that's 56. Another one that's probably a week or two away from hatching. If again, if there's any eggs that survive the raccoons in there, keeping our fingers crossed. Look at that tree, just getting some morning light on it. Absolutely gorgeous, the colors. The early morning light really brings the reds out. Makes the colors richer. Makes the greens a lot greener. I wonder if there's anybody fishing up in the pass this morning. Hey, if you're new to our live feeds, be sure to introduce yourself to the group here let everybody know where you're watching from that's part of the deal here introduce yourself comment back and forth let everybody know what you're doing if you're going through hard times in life you know looking for some prayers let people know it's about sharing our good times and bad times here with everybody we're just kind of a family here, a little beach family. We've lost a, quite a bit of beach up here. I'm in area three right now. You can see we've lost a lot of beach. This just happened within the past couple weeks. That tropical storm Gordon didn't help us out at all here. This beach is just constantly changing shape and size. It gets small in one area, big in another, constantly changing. Darn it, there was a bunch of little sandpipers running in and out of the little waves and just took off. I was hoping to catch up to them before they flew away. Still no signs of any dolphins. Darn it. Look at that sky.
We're up in Area 3, the north end of Area 3 Beach right now. Quite a few of you have been out here. You recognize where I'm at. A lot of you, from the comments that I've seen, a lot of you, this is the only time you've ever been to the beach is through my beach walks. I think that is so amazing. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. But I've seen comments that this is the only way people can get to the beach is through my beach walks. It's amazing. Still not many shells down here. I really don't see any shells. For some reason, all the shells are starting to accumulate up at the north end of the park. I'm sure that has something to do with that dredging they were doing a month or so ago. That changed the shape of our beach drastically up at the north end of the park. Still no signs of any dolphins out there. But look at that water. Wow. And flat as can be. Just beautiful. Beautiful colors. Look at the birds. Look at the fish just jumping like crazy. There's one right, whoa. They were just going crazy here. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Let's see if we see any of these little fish. They're going right up the beach here. Right up the beach. The school is something. Going after the little bait fish. Just going crazy up here. See all that water splashing up there? Look at that. The birds are going to be coming in. Just incredible. Look at it. They're just going right up the beach here. Look like a... Look at them. They're just coming right in here big school of fish. See if we can just get ahead of them here. Where'd they go? That was incredible. See them? See, the, see them all jumping around up here? Just incredible. Wow. That was amazing. All the birds coming in. Coming in for a free meal. Wow. I hope you got to see that. I was like running up the beach trying to chase them. But well, that happens all throughout the day here. Especially in the morning time. Wow, that was exciting. It's too bad you couldn't be here to witness that in person. I mean, it was incredible. Come some pelicans landing out there, some gulls flying by. What an awesome experience! 
awesome experience. That's all I can say. I wish that was dolphins chasing those fish. You know, it's been a while since we've seen the dolphins right up on the beach here. I'm sure this winter we're gonna see them up close. But those dolphins will come right up, just like those fish, right up to the edge of the water here, corralling fish. It is just amazing. It's an amazing sight. I shared one a video of one of them that Roy and I saw the other day. I shared that video. You might scroll down through my posts, you'll see that. I got another great one on YouTube where the dolphin, we must have just followed him around for at least 15 minutes, just right along the shoreline here, back and forth. I mean, when I say along the shoreline, I mean they're right here. They come almost beach themselves chasing fish. It's incredible. We haven't seen that in a while. Okay, there's something out there swirling around right straight out there what might it be just a rogue wave is it another school of fish now it's stopped along the beach here, see if we're coming into some of our little shell pockets here. Yesterday I found five nice little moon shells. It was like a moon shell morning yesterday. See if you find anything today. You just never know what's gonna wash up on the beach. We've got like three lines of shells here. We got some shells right down by the water line. Then we have another little line back here and then back at the high tide line, there's some shells. So there's a lot of area to cover. That's why you're bound to find something if you come out here, nobody can find them all. Every morning there's a little something different out here. But not finding anything yet. Nothing has caught my eye. Beautiful though out here in the sunlight. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, what do we got out here? Come on, something nice. Something nice. What do we got down here? Ooh, look at that. A beautiful, beautiful pear well. Look at that. That is a beauty right there. That's a 100% keeper right there. Beautiful, beautiful pear well. Nice color. Looks similar to a lightning well the pear well the openings on the opposite side and it's smoother than a lightning well a pear well 
You can definitely tell the difference when you look at the back of it from a lightning milk, the pear. That is a beautiful find. Beautiful. I'm lucky to have found that. What else? Lots of great little, lots of little shells down here, little worm shells and slipper shells. Lots and lots of little tiny things. These are all the things you gotta just stop and really take your time, sift through them. A worm shell. Fairly common these worm shells. Look at that sky. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of these slipper shells. I always like showing the slipper shell to our friends. A lot of newcomers here, but that's the back side of the slipper shell. We flip it over. You can see why they call it a slipper when you turn it over. The slipper shell looks like a little slipper. Those you find all sizes, colors. Sometimes they're almost round, the slipper shells. Well, there's a nice little worm shell down there. Couple nice little worm shells. Two great little worm shells. Nice, nice, nice to add to the worm shell collection. Oh, here comes some pelicans flying by. What else do we have out here? Getting back into the shade. That sun's not quite made it all the way up over the trees yet. So we look out to the east, just coming up there. We still got some shadows on the beach. But the big story, I guess, for this week has been recovery. Our beach is definitely recovering from the red tide. Fish are returning, the birds are returning, people are returning, things are getting back to normal. We have spotted dolphins out here, we have seen dolphins. They are out here, they have come back. Don't know when they'll be swimming by, making their appearance today. Maybe we'll get lucky and see one. I just can't, there's no guarantees when it comes to dolphins. I can not guarantee you'll spot them if you spend all day out here. That I can guarantee.
Now let's see if we find any shells out here. We're coming up to the sandbar where all the birds like to hang out. It's kind of funny. Yep, this is up where Roy would be normally. Where I'd have my little chats with Roy on the beach. Well now, we get to see the beautiful birds while Roy's recovering. So it's like God replaced Roy with the birds. <laughs> I show him some of the pictures and videos of out here and he gets a big thrill out of that. He loves it when I tell him I saw the dolphins. That is one of our favorite things is to watch the dolphins together. I'm getting back into a few shells here. And what happens is these shells, you know, they wash up on the beach, but every time the high tide comes in, it just kind of rearranges them and you find something new. You know, a lot of times it's the same shells, but just arranged in a different way and you it makes it easier to find something. It's crazy, but you can walk up and down this beach and find something different every time. Beautiful little, beautiful little cockle shell. Still, still seeing lots of the little, the little sand dollars out here. There were just thousands of these on the beach. They all died in the red tide. Thousands and thousands of them. I mean, people were loading, ba filling bags up with them. There were so many out here. These little baby sand dollars. shells. Yeah, there's a little a little Murex. It's got a chip in it. A little lace Murex, maybe an apple Murex, piece of an apple Murex. Half of a half of a little banded tulip shell. Hmm. Those are beautiful, the tulips, the banded tulips. That's just a piece of one right there. Wow. Now well, keep walking up the beach here. It's starting to warm up. That sun's coming up now. Low tide here. Tide's just starting to come back in. You see now we can walk right out to the sandbar. At high tide, this covers right up here. Boy, is that a piece of a crown conch? Man, look at that. I would have loved to find a crown conch that size. Look at that. 
would have been awesome to find a crown conch that size. Wow. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. olive shell down here nice colors nice looking little olive shell Beautiful as we look down to the south here. Look at the water, gorgeous. So flat. There's a nice little turkey shell down here. Nice little turkey shell. A turkey wing. A nice little turkey wing shell. Listen to all those birds. That beautiful, beautiful sound. Morning. Morning. 
Area 4 Beach right here, the north end of Area 4. The big pine trees. Roy calls that his big pine tree. I just must be blind this morning. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of gorgeous shells as I'm walking along here. But there's some nice little conchs, fighting conchs down there. I see a piece of what was once a beautiful moon shell. Oh, a big one too. Just the eye of it. Just a piece of it. Gorgeous shells. Not much left of that one. Yeah, we'll walk up the beach a little further. You never know what's waiting around the next bend. There's a little baby fighting conch shell. A little baby fighting conch. And you can see up the high tide here, we got another little ring of shells, a line of shells. Gorgeous out here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. We'll check back in with the birds a little later. Let's see if I can get up to Wiggins Pass this morning. I don't know. I'm going to be able to get around there if there's any beach left. I like staying out on the beach side. But I don't want to risk getting my camera or my gimbal wet either. Take a quick visit to Audrey's bench over here, Roy's late wife, Audrey. She's been gone now quite a few years. But Roy had a bench placed up here in her memory here, up in area four. Audrey's bench. Always like to check in on that once in a while. Dearest Audrey, you will always be with us, will always be loved. And then there's that, that poem that he, he actually wrote that poem on their wedding day. A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care, a time to dance, a time to sing. A time to hear the heavens ring. A time to leave the outworn way. A blessed time, a newborn day. A time for comradeship and friends. A time, a time that never ends. That was sweet. Written by Roy for Audrey on their wedding day. Audrey's no longer with us. In body, she's with us in spirit. I can guarantee you that. She's with Roy right now, watching over him at the nursing facility. Well, look at that, beautiful place to come out and sit and watch the sunset. Sit on Audrey's bench. 
Roy would appreciate that. This is still debris from Hurricane Irma over here, unfortunately. <laughs> I can feel Roy and Audrey with us right now out here at the beach as I'm walking along. almost hear Roy playing his harmonica. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the birds. Lots of neat little pieces of worm rock on the beach. Some people pick them up. A lot of people just walk right by them. But lots of neat little pieces of worm rock. It's kind of neat when you look at it up close. Tide's slowly coming back in. Here's a nice little lineup of shells down here. Anything in it? Uh, those waves are constantly rearranging things. You can see how they just move the shells around and rearrange them. That's why you're always seeing new things here. Every time the wave hits them, you just find something different. Little fighting conch down there. I think Scott and Linda got all the good shells up here yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we'll find something nice. Just got to be patient and persistent. Lots of little fighting conchs. Lots of little baby fighting conch shells. Those are always nice to have in a collection. I 
don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through up there or not. We'll give it a try. A piece of a banded tool up over there, darn it. One of my favorites. Old broken banded tulip shell. Another broken one. I'd love to find a nice big banded tulip shell. What's this down here? Oh, darn wave. What is that? It looks like maybe a little nutmeg shell. Piece of one. What's back in here? Yeah, these have been here for a while. There's an old broken whelk over there. Two pieces, two broken beautiful shells, a lightning whelk and a crown pot. Just a portion of them. The crown conk on the right, the lightning whelk on the left. Another piece of a lightning whelk down there. kinds of broken shells. There's an old conch. That's an old fighting conch shell there. It's lost all its color. Piece of a moon shell, it looks like, down here. Yep, piece of a shark eye. Just the partial moon shell. Also called a shark eye, that would be the eye right there. Little piece of a worm rock. A worm shell, a little piece of a worm shell here. Saw a little auger shell down here somewhere, and now I lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. There's a little auger shell. Keep heading up the beach, see how far I can get here without drowning. There's something cool. There's the top, just the top of a fighting conch, a Florida fighting conch. Look at that, it almost looks like a rose, doesn't it, the inside? That's the top of the shell, the, the top of the Florida fighting conch. But look at that. Kind of looks like a rose when you look at it. It's kind of neat. Piece of an old Murex. That was a big Murex. Would have loved to find that, a whole one of those. Piece of an apple murex, big apple murex. There's a nice little olive shell, small one, it's got the point on it. Most of the time the tips are off. That's a nice little olive shell there. Shells are really starting to thin out now. A 
We started all the way down in area one this morning. We've almost walked the entire beach. Let's see if I can get around up here. Get out to Wiggins Pass. Piece of an old lightning whelk, big old lightning whelk. Nice little cockle shell down here. Little cockle. Nice little scallop shell. Find lots of scallops on the beach. All different colors and sizes. Pear whelk or paper fig? I think that's an old little piece of a paper fig, a little paper fig shell. Not much left to it. Little baby. Lots of little cockle shells on the beach, lots of them. There's another one, nice colors on this one. Great colors on that little cockle shell right there. I think I hear some fishermen up the beach. Can I get around here without taking a swim? That's the big question. All of our beach has been eroded up here over the past year. Hurricane Irma kind of put the icing on the cake there. Water's just below my knees here. You can see the beach used to be up over my head here. We've lost, this was a really beautiful spot up here in area five, now it's all gone. What a shame. Out into the water it is so calm this morning that gulf is like glass it's almost like a mirror out there but have not seen the dolphins swim by yet they could be coming by at any time you just never know you never know when they're gonna pop up just beautiful out here A little bit, huh? Oh, yeah. I was actually with Roy here. We were walking up the beach in a storm as this beach was eroding. He almost got hurt, too. He insisted on walking along as the beach was crumbling here under his feet. It was quite a quite a morning, quite a beach walk. I did get that on video too. I 
Roy and I have been out here in some pretty impressive storms, rainstorms, walking the beach. Just a piece of a pear whelk. It's a nice little shell for the shell tree, huh? A little pear whelk. Beautiful colors out here this morning. The blues and the greens. Some white clouds out there. Look at the water here. Look at that. Getting better and better every day here. Definitely losing beach here. The trees are getting closer and closer to the water. Well, I've got two shells in my hands. I've got a little pear whelk and a big cockle shell that I want to hang on the shell tree. I'll come around here, find a nice little branch. Hang these two shells. Let's see, where's a good spot? Trying to find a little sunlight. There's one of Roy's shells up there. That's one of the cockles we hung for Roy. But I want to get a little sunlight here. I'm gonna come back around to the back side here. I need a little branch. I need a big branch and a little branch. Something's sticking up here. Well, here we go. I'm going to put the big old cockle shell. See if I can get it over there. Slide it down here. I'm going to hang that cockle shell. That's for all of our friends watching that have recently lost a loved one or just want to say a prayer for their friends. That's for all of our friends on Facebook. And then this little pear whelk I'm going to hang up here for Roy. So there you go. I'm just going to give everybody a minute here. Just be quiet. If you want, if you want to say a little prayer, say a prayer for Roy, a prayer for your loved ones, go ahead.
Beautiful. Amen. I'm sure your prayers are going to be heard. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick picture of those. Bear with me for one minute. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to get a picture of those two shells. It's beautiful out here this morning. Boats heading out out there. You can hear the music from the boat. Well, there's a piece of a big lightning whelk down here. An old one. Piece of an old lightning whelk. We're up at the north end of the park now, up in Area 5 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, up in North Naples, Florida. A beautiful Saturday morning. As I make my way around the trees here, they were knocked over last September, September 13th. And Hurricane Irma came through Naples. We still haven't recovered. There's still houses with blue tarps on the roofs. It's amazing. Almost a year ago, and we still haven't recovered. Boy, some great cockle shells to hang on the shell tree up here. If anybody's looking for shells, there's some nice big, there's a big cockle over there, wow. There's a big cockle out here in the water. Hey, both sides of it. Big cockle shell out here in the water. Look at that. That is a beauty there. Look at that cockle shell. That is a gem right there. Wow. How do I carry something like that? Now I can't pick anything else up. <laughs> That's a great looking shell. Get it out in the sunlight here. That is a big cockle shell. If I was to close that, it would look like a heart. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hey, a little moon shell. Yay. I knew we'd find a moon shell today. I knew we'd find one. There we go, a little shark eye. I love finding these. A little shark eye. And a little whelk. Yeah, not much. That's a partial whelk. It's kind of broke missing its tail. <laughs> nice little lightning whelk. I'm happy to find that moon shell. I don't know. You can never have too many moon shells in your collection. What else are we gonna find up here? Some fishermen? Yep, some fishermen, some boats heading out this morning. This 
is Wiggins Pass up here to the north of me. Absolutely beautiful this morning. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. <clears throat> Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I love doing it. I love sharing what little bit of information I have, what knowledge I have about some of the shells and other things out here with you. But if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. we got down here piece of a murex maybe yeah we got a murex shell nice a little murex cool that's a little keeper get the sand off it looks like a little apple murex starting to fade that's cool I'm glad I come up here I found a little moon shell and a little murex will we get lucky and find something else If you want to make a little donation, as I was saying earlier, you can find my PayPal information in the description of this post a little later. And again, every little bit helps. And those of you that have sent a little something, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. are starting to thin out here. One lone fisherman up here. You know, as beautiful as this cockle shell is, I just can't be carrying this back with me. I'm gonna leave it up here for somebody else. I'm gonna do something with it though. See what happens when you close that? It makes a heart. Isn't that beautiful? When you close the cockle shell, it makes a heart. I have no way to take a picture of that. Both of my hands are tied up here. But isn't that beautiful? The cockle heart.
Beautiful shell. Barb Grove's the one that showed me that. Showed me that heart. Now I get to share it with you. So cool. I'm gonna try and stuff it in my pocket. Hang on while I do that. Camera's gonna bounce around here. It's just so big. It does not fit in my pocket. I want to keep it so bad. I don't know if there's any little shells out here at the point. No, but look at that water. It's got nice and green. That's not dirt. That's just the natural color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful out here. That's Barefoot Beach across the pass there. Getting any nibbles? Or this one of the snapper we're biting. Snapper? Yeah, mangrove snapper? Or? Yeah, mangrove. Yeah. School of jacks just go by. Oh, wow. One of them. So. Well, at least it's something. Yeah, I <laughs> you mean, know? I was here Wednesday night. I was biting real good with really? the jacks and the snappers. And those size snappers, really? too. So. Nice. Nice. It's, it's, I mean, it's turning around. You know, the water bad. and everything. It's getting a lot better than it was. Nice and clean. I yeah. feel a little bit in my first. Yeah. I haven't been down there in a while. I had shoulder surgery last November, so I lost six months there. And then uh, I was down in July. It worked out pretty good because it was my daughter's wedding and uh, my brother that brought him down, then down here, and it was really good. Nice. That was like July 14th, yep. right after that. Then it all went downhill. Oh, yeah, yep, it's been terrible. Yeah. It lasted a long time. Too. Yeah, I know. I didn't even come down. It was like, you know, I'm not going down to deal with that. <laughs> well, hopefully we're on the, the mend here. Yeah, that we're you know, I, I think we need a few storms. Yeah, That's another it. storm like that last one yeah, would definitely help. help. Yeah, bit. well, good luck. Yeah, Look at the water out here. Absolutely beautiful in the pass. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. tide is looks like it's just coming back in it's hard to tell some leaves here floating around I don't know if they're barely moving but it looks like the tide is coming in when I look out here in the pass it's just beautiful though it's gorgeous Goes some pelicans. Such beautiful birds. A couple jet skiers coming in. It's gorgeous out here. color of this water here. Look how clear it is right here.
And his colors are just amazing. Absolutely amazing right there. From light green to deep blue. Bear with me for a minute. I want to record a little video here. So just hang tight. I'll be right back in a couple minutes. Hopefully I won't lose my connection. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, we kept the connection. That's good. Let's worry about that. Time to head back. Head back down the beach. And we started all the way down at the south end, down in Area 1. We made it all the way up to Wiggins Pass this morning. Beautiful up here at the pass. The water is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. how blue that water and sky are. Wow. There goes a paddle boarder out there. birds how neat is that absolutely gorgeous
I have got to be heading back down the beach. Great beach walk so far this morning. The icing on the cake would be some dolphins. Sometimes a paddle boarder actually stirs up the dolphins. So they get curious and come over. I'll be able to make it around these trees again. The water's a little deeper than it was before. Again, these are all trees that got knocked down by Hurricane Irma last September. This is where Roy used to sit out here. We used to call it his throne out here. You'll see some pictures of him sitting on a tree branch. That was on these trees here that have since toppled over. It used to be beautiful here. He used to walk under a canopy of trees along the beach. Thanks to Irma, they're gone. So flat out there today, so flat, flat. Um, Definitely getting deeper here. The tide is on its way back in. A lot deeper than when I walked out just 20 minutes ago or so. saw something in the water, but now. Morning. Well, the tough part's coming up there. Do I 
go through the water or do I go around? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to risk dumping the camera in the water or the gimbal. I think I'm going to go take the high road here. I'm up under the nature trail. We actually had a sea turtle nest up in here by the picnic tables. It's already hatched, <laughs> but there was a sea turtle nest way up here, right over there. You can see some of the eggshells still where the nest was down here. She came up that dune. That was a heck of a crawl for that sea turtle. Beautiful little picnic areas back here. Great place to come and spend a Saturday. There's barbecue grills back in here. These benches and grills are scattered all along the trail here, just behind the beach, just off the beach. There's also a boat launch area here. If you got a boat you want to bring in, they have a nice parking lot and boat ramp. They also have a concession stand here. That's in parking lot four. Snacks, drinks, you know, sandwiches, souvenirs, beach chair rentals, canoe, kayak, paddleboard rentals. They can set you up here. But our beach is, this beach used to go way out here, but as you can see, it's gone. It's totally washed away here. Got a big spider web on me. About a six foot drop off there. Our beach used to go way out there. Ugh, there's this darn spider web all over me. Obviously, nobody comes out here. Darn it. They had five bathhouses here. Restrooms with outdoor showers, changing room. There's one of them tucked back in the woods there. They keep them in pretty good shape here. This is, uh, I'd say I'm in area five here, the north end of area four, between four and five right here. You never know what you're going to see running across this path. Got gopher tortoises back in here. You might see one of them crawling around. Lots of raccoons, squirrels, different kinds of birds. Back out to the beach. Put more picnic tables and another grill. Picnic tables are all up and down the beach.
Well, there's that paddle border still out there. Gorgeous. What a beautiful sight here. Looking down to the south. Last weekend, this beach was dead. People still reluctant to come out because of the red tide. As you can see, it's clearing up. People are returning. Now all the birds have left the island here. They were out there earlier this morning. Probably got scared away by the people out here. You remember when I first came out here this morning, we walked right straight across there. Now you see the tide starting to come in. That was all sand out there earlier this morning. There was just a little pool of water out here. Oh, sad. There's a dead turn in the water, what a shame. Must have gotten a fight or something. Oh, well, it's not dead. I don't know what it's doing. It's not dead. What a shame, it's got a broken neck. What a shame. What a shame to see that. It's got a broken neck. That is so sad. Poor thing. Beautiful birds. There's nothing you can do when a bird breaks its neck. What a shame. So sad to see that. I just put it out on the beach. Mother Nature will take its course, one of our beautiful turns. So sad to see that. So, so sad.
you know, it's just one of the sights we see out here in our beach walks. We've seen the full circle of life out here. We've seen the beginning with the little baby turtles and we've seen the end of life too. I don't know about you, but it makes me appreciate life a lot more when I see sights like that. I'm getting a low battery warning. So I'm gonna have to call it quits here for this morning. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Again, remember, I don't get paid to do this. If you want to make a little contribution, thank you. Every little bit helps. It always comes in handy when it comes time to pay the phone bill. And that's due now. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like there. And when you do, hit the like and share buttons. Well, have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend, wherever you might be. Keep it safe, whatever you do. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.